Boom, right there. How's it going, guys? Token vaping. So today's juice review is another flavor um, on an ongoing line that now has added two new members to their family. And if you've been following them on Instagram at all, or if you've actually had the, the opportunity to try any of the flavors, um, then you know you'll know about the other the other flavors. There we go. The other flavors that are um, added to that line. So I'm gonna do the second of the the first two flavors that I was able to acquire for the purpose of this inner this review, and I'll let you know about um, the other two uh, when I do the reviews for those as well. But the company is called Strange Fruit Liquids, and if you don't recognize the name, you may not, but you definitely will recognize the labels. These are there we go. This is Rotten Candy. I apologize about the sun glare, but um, this is the second flavor. The first one that I did was the spoiled milk. And you, if you've seen any of my posts on Instagram, that was the key lime milkshake. Definitely unique, definitely different, not the usual combination that you would expect. Um, this one is gummy candy uh, drenched in grape soda. So that's actually another interesting combination that not many people would think of when you're when you're thinking of, you know, candy combinations or things like that, but hence the strange fruit. Um, but that is the bottle. It does come like that. These are offered in a zero, three, and a six. That is a three. And then it has the information and warning and ingredient labeling on the back. These are an 80 20 mix ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the vape and then I will give you the, the, the opinion for it. I'll show you the, uh, the cloud production and then I'll give you the social media um, links and sites like that. And I do apologize for the glare. I didn't realize the sun was literally right where it's at at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on fresh cotton as I always do for you guys, which is always going to be Texas Tough Cotton. Just works really well for me. Little to no break in time and that's the big selling point that I like about it. But I will have that link in the comment box as always if you guys are interested in trying it out. And the device I have it on is my Puma Box Mod from VaporStorm uh, Global. And I'll put that link in the comment box as well. But I've done a review on this device also if you are interested in checking that out as well. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open. So the gummy candy it itself is not a unique flavor. I, um, there are quite a few that try to do the gummy flavor uh the gummy flavor themselves. But what's unique and different about this is that it's combined with grape soda. So it's basically, I don't know if they're trying to say it's like gummy candy in like a bowl of grape soda, or if it's just gummy candy after you've poured grape soda over it or mixed it in with it. So it'll definitely be interesting to try um, just because grape soda is not an easy flavor to emulate in general. But now that we're throwing in the gummy candy flavor as well, that's definitely not, a, like I said, it's not a mixture that many people would think of or would expect to see, you know, as a pairing. So, but I will say that the spoiled milk was quite a surprise as far as the, the quality of the flavor and how on point it was. So it definitely goes to show that they, they definitely know what they're doing. And they're obviously wanting to go for stuff that is unique or different. Um, literally just because it's outside the box, which is nowadays, it's actually really cool because it's not, it's hard to come up with something different, something unique, something that people haven't seen or heard of either at all or very much of, depending on where you're located. So as always, I'm going to be popping this at 75 Watts. This is Rotten Candy from Strange Fruit Liquids. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick redrip, and honestly, this solely is just for the purpose of making sure that I'm not overlooking anything in the flavor aspect of this, and that everything that I just tasted is what it's supposed to be, because if I'm missing something, I should pick it up this time around. Um, I just don't want to misinform anybody about anything on the flavor. Okay, so Rotten Candy, as you saw, the cloud production is rock solid. 
Um, it's an 80-20 mix ratio, so you definitely are going to get some dense, nice clouds, especially if you're running coils, um, RDTA, things like that. It will run in a tank, but you know, obviously the, the actual uh, handmade coils are going to give you a uh, much better cloud production, and at an 80-20, it just it's dense so it definitely works for people that like clouds or cloud chasers um, it also helps smooth it out so that you don't have that that raspy hit to your throat or that little scratchiness that some people will tend to pick up if it's um, a thinner mixture because of the nicotine in it um, but it definitely it definitely will satisfy the cloud chasers it'll definitely cover that smoothness in the vape now for flavor it is definitely different. And I said that about the first one too, the spoiled milk, because they are unique combinations. Um, you most definitely taste the grape soda. However, I don't drink a whole lot of grape soda, so I, I can't say for sure whether it's like dead on to that or not. Obviously, you're, you're not going to get the carbonation effect of it with the bubbliness, um, but it doesn't taste like it's a flat soda. Um, one that, you know, after the bubbles left and then you just get like that really for me it's kind of nasty but you get that odd syrupy taste it doesn't have that taste to that it definitely has it that grape that grape drink feel to it um the gummy candy aspect of it definitely comes out more on the undertone um to where it, you do taste enough of it that it makes you kind of pause and be like that's not just this or that that tastes like there's something else in it because there is um it is definitely a unique pairing um neither flavor i will say will uh, pops out like 100 percent and overpowers the other um i tend to get more of the grape flavor out of it but i do i do get the gummy candy uh, flavor i guess you want to say the the gumminess fruitiness um, on the undertone. Now, everybody has a different taste preference and sensitivity, so somebody else might pull the gummy candy flavor out more than the grape. Either way it works, you do taste both of them, and it actually is an interesting pairing of the two, but not in a bad way in any sense of the word. So if you're looking for something unique and you do like the more sweeter, the more candy style type flavors, this is definitely one that you should try for sure. Um, there's not m anything else out there like this that I have seen for for definite, um, at least not in this pairing. But definitely check them out. Now, they are on a website. It's called puffvaporslv.com. That is the main site. Um, they are a line that is made by uh, Puff Labs. Um, so th there are two separate Instagram pages. So definitely check them both out. One is Puff Labs. The other is Strange Fruit Liquids directly themselves. But if you go to puffvaporslv.com, you will be you might be surprised at some of the the juice lines that you see on there that are associated to Puff Labs as well. Um, a lot some of them are are as w just as well known uh, or more well known. Right? Some people might recognize them more, but you definitely will be surprised to see some of the ones that are on there. But definitely check them out. They are. Uh, operating out of Vegas, uh, but they do have the main website. Uh, once One last time, it's puffvaporslv.com. They are on Instagram, they are on Facebook, and you can email them directly off their Facebook page. Um, they also have a direct contact link on there as well. So great, great guys. I had a chance to meet two of the main people um, at the West Coast uh, Expo um, that was held in Washington a couple weeks ago. Great, great gentlemen, um, real down to earth, real easy to talk to always enjoy talking about vaping and the, their products and things like that so definitely give them a hit up um, especially if you're looking for something different and unique i promise you it's including the two new flavors on on their website that you'll see for this line they're definitely not the norm and they're definitely not common flavor mixes that you're going to find anywhere else so definitely check them out as always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do myself to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I do this. So definitely reach out to me. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, a particular video that you'd like to see. Um, I'll do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, thank you guys so very much for your continued support, your compliments, your comments, everything that you guys have been doing to... Uh, Take a second out of your day and show me uh, kindness and support and click in that red subscribe button. It is so much appreciated and I love you all for that. But until next time, always truly love yourself. Let's ring in the new year on a positive note. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.